All right, we are back for round three. Unfortunately, cannot keep that, obviously. Uh, okay, I cannot keep that either. Uh, all right, that's a keep. Slightly annoying, but, uh, well, two no lander in a row is, well, it's, yeah, it's clunky, but there's not much you can do about that. We are playing against another red deck, in, r another red white deck, all right, interesting. Um, well, mulliganing to 6 is never good, but at least this is a kind of a good mulligan. Drawing sleep paralysis was relevant. Uh, any land is not the worst because I do have a, a, f a 4 and a 5 drop. I guess I should attack first because they could they could have a puncturing light and they could not want to use that into a potential pump spell. They might just not care. Yeah, they did have it. All right. Uh, I could have a deterrent, but that seems pretty poor. I'd rather play my Nibelisk. Uh, Nibelisk, not Nibelisk. And yeah, maybe it kind of give up that I had nothing since I attacked. You know, I tap my mana and then untap them. I don't really know. Uh, either way, it doesn't really matter in the end. All right, my opponent is missing land drop. The issue is that I don't have a lot of pressure. Well, especially if they use a second light. I, nah, I could have compelling deterrents. Maybe it was right to do so. Alright, blue, white, red. They have a bunch of puncturing light, that's pretty interesting. Blood Mad Vampire is not bad, especially when I have two removal in hand, kind of. They are playing counter spells? No counter spell, alright, good. But a catalog. So it's another some yeah another blue well that's something weird. I thought it was red white beatdown, but apparently it's some sort of control deck which I've I'm not yeah <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about facing a control deck in the finals since it's yeah control is really hard to pull off in this set. We might be facing a rise from the tide deck, uh, which be kind of sweet. So they cannot just the wind. Luckily for us. They are missing one mana, obviously. Uh, but this is four zombie. So if my opponent can just eat land drops and rise from the type, we are going to be in trouble. All right, Pyrehound. Kind of makes sense in this kind of deck, I guess. So since I draw land, I'm just going to sleep paralyze this that thing and uh, swing in with the vampire. And hopefully I can deal enough damage before they rise from the tide. I'm pretty sure they do have rise from the tide. Uh, given not what they've played, it's, you know, that card would make sense. So it's, you know, base blue rise from the tide control deck with a bit of white. Blue white rise from the tide is not something I've seen yet. Blue black rise from the tide, blue red rise from the tide. Uh, obviously I'm talking about a card that my opponent has not shown yet. Uh, but it seems so likely that they do have that, I don't know. Alright, sleep paralysis of their own. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, if I draw a land, which I did, I think if I want to play the spirit, it's better main phase to not play into a potential counter spell. It doesn't matter too much, though. Another play would be to bounce that in hand and replay it. It's pretty bad if they actually have Rise from the Tide because it's not going to do a whole lot against those zombies. Uh, should I play Spirit Main Phase? I don't think I'm tr gonna trap anything. It gives my opponent information. Um, but if they have a counter spell, I really, really don't want to play that into the counter spell. Uh, it's not so likely because counter spells are pretty bad, but I feel. I think I'd rather have that onto the battlefield now. Uh, I, I'm not sure how right it is, but it's the play I'm gonna make. Alright, let's beat down. Swing in with the Storm Rider. And I think that we are gonna replay that and try to win next turn of the Whisper if my opponent somehow taps out or and you know make some risky plays. Like if they tap out for Rise from the Tide, for example, I can uh, kill them, uh, I think. No, not really. I can put them down to two, which be pretty good. 
I don't, I don't know, it's fairly aggressive play, but it doesn't seem like my uh, pour over the page is alright. Well, I guess if they play two spell, I can actually kill them. So it's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I don't think my deterrence is going to do much better things during this game. And being able to attack with that could be really relevant. Like, four, four damage could, you know, make the difference between a win and a loss. So I guess if they untap two land and use catalog, that's not very likely they would use it during my turn. So untap two land and... I'm hoping the, for the best, probably that they have a good removal or even a good madness removal to uh, play, which which is the worst case scenario. Uh, I don't really know, I guess we'll see. Alright, no madness, at least it's kind of good. And a, a purge onto my vampire. Slightly annoying, but it's in the realm of pitable things, so... I think it's kind of fine. So I can put down my opponent to 4. It's not really enough. <laughs> Another Whisper. Well, I guess I'm casting this one now. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. Um, <laughs> right. Two Whispers. This way my opponent is dead next turn to my Storm Rider Spirit. Uh, if I Whisper it. Or if they, you know, I, I, I do have a kill next turn. That was a weird draw though. But this card has proven to be really good. Like even without um, the two looters, uh, like if my open taps out for rise from the tide here, I win. Uh, peace. Yeah, my open has a very sweet deck. I'd be really happy to draft this deck at some point. Ooh, scrutiny, and press for answer. All right, if they press for answer, my spirit and attack, I kill them on my turn, which is pretty funny. Unless they play another island, but I don't. F I think they they. F Played their land here. Maybe I'm wrong, and they might just sacrifice the clue. All right, <laughs> that's pretty cheap to steal a game this way, but you know it's what my deck does. All right, this is not an island, so they will. Oh no, no, a blocker. Oh, this has trample. Never mind. Never mind. All right, we got a kill. Sweet. <laughs> so <laughs> double whisper for the win. That's pretty cheap. But it's gonna work out. Unless I'm bad at math. Alright, sweet. Ooh, my open deck is definitely sweet, so. Yeah, so it's a Jeskai spell based prowess deck. Sweet. That's that's very sweet. I, I'd like to draft that at some point. Uh I think they have a better late game than me, so it's probably not a great matchup, but it's definitely funny and interesting. Uh Nice, yeah, it's the first time I see that, so definitely something nice and sweet. Alright. Given what I've seen, I don't think there's much I want to change up. I mean, the Whisper seems good in this deck because I, I think I'm the aggressor and I'm trying to win, uh, to win as fast as possible, which makes the card uh, relevant. I could even use the Wolf as a good beatdown card. Not sure what I would cut. Um, dual shot does not seem great. I don't think they've shown any one toughness creatures so far. Um, so there is the wolf. Well, I could use distortion against a three color deck, but I think it's it's probably not the best idea, and it's pretty cheap. Uh, I mean, it's yeah, I, you know, it's it's I, I could potentially steal a game of that, but it's not that likely, and I don't think it's great. Reduce to Ashes is a decentish answer to the dogs, but I do have enough removal, I think, and some, you know, bounce spells. I um, don't think I need that too much. It looks like a pretty bad matchup. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. We managed to win after mulliganing to 5, though, so there is that. I don't think there's anything I want to cut for the wolf, so I guess I'm going to keep my deck this way. <laughs> My open deck is definitely fun and sweet though. I'd be happy to try to draft that deck at some point. At least we got the really sweet blue-red madness deck here, which is kinda nice and different from what I've been doing. Alright, great keep here. Two drop, three drop. 
Uh, I mean, Vampire into Mangler is great. I have all the mana I need. I have a bounce spell with a zombie. I have a lightning axe now. You cannot dream of a better hand. Uh, if I draw uh, another mountain, I can uh, Blood Mad Vampire, Lightning Axe on turn 3. I have a Scholar now, that's just that's just a dream hand, basically. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, this might die end of turn. No, never mind. Piece of the puzzle. Yeah, my oven is really deep into the theme, which is sweet. Alright, uh, so they got another piece, and that's it, I guess. So it's not so efficient mana wise. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the first piece. Uh yeah, yeah, they got they just got another piece. Alright. I was a bit confused because there was the piece they played in the graveyard, but I mean it's pretty Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Kinda wanna play the Blood Map Vampire first though. Oh, it's so sweet with lightning axe. And a na uh, having the scholar able to start doing things is great too. I don't know. Kind of want to, you know, use both of these. On the other hand, you could argue for playing the vampire first. They pieced again. <laughs> That's really funny. Just the wind. So they got a just the wind. And that seat. Pretty unlucky, I would assume. I guess my opponent is trying to do some sweeter things than that. I kind of want to attack with that, but I think uh, the fact that I can leave deterrence open. On the other hand, I kind of want to deterrence with a zombie. Yeah, I'm kind of tied between card advantage and uh, speed. I could have played the Vampire first to be more aggressive. I could have attacked with Scholar here to deal more damage. But I lose a bit of value by, by doing that. I don't know. I don't really know how fast I have to be. So currently they have two instant and sorceries in their graveyard. Yeah. Probably not the start they want to make. I mean, they missed a land drop too, if I'm not mistaken. No, they didn't. No, they did not. Never mind. They they didn't miss a land drop. So I guess it might be a Pyre Hound. Reduce to ashes, my thing. Well, I actually I'd rather have them reduce to ashes this than the vampire. But that being said, I think I will bounce this back to my hand because it's pretty valuable. And I have two removal, so I don't need uh, my deterrence as a tempo card. And having the scholar going off is pretty sweet. Ooh, another mangler. Don't mind if I do. So I guess I'm playing the scholar back. Passing the turn. So they need removal because. There, there are no blockers that are gonna stop me this game with uh, two manglers and lightning axe. It's yeah, they they just need some removal, which I think they do have, but they might not have here. Power over the pages. It's good if yeah, I mean it's good, it's good, but it's you know I don't mind them using three mana to to draw cards. I think at this point it's you know they well if they have fiery temper it's good for sure, but. Uh, it's fine. So I guess now they will be targeting the vampire over the scholar, I would assume. It seems better. Yeah. They pretty much have to do that, actually. And unfortunately, there's no way I can save it, so I guess it's gonna die. Rise from the Tide is currently for 5, I think. So I kind of need to find a way to kill my opponent fast enough. Pretty annoying, not much I can do about that. It be what it be. Fire Temper is very good though, because it gives me a bit of reach, which I will probably need. And I think at this point I'm probably playing a Mangler just, uh, you know, just to get a bit more damage. It gives me Lethal next turn if they don't have anything to, if they don't have a removal. Because I can mangler up a blocker that they would play and you know attack for six and fire temper, so 
even though it's not the best use of a mangler, I think it's right to play it this way here. If they tap out for right from the tie, they die. I think catalog is gonna mean I win most of the time because at this point they really don't want to use three mana doing nothing. They probably have yeah. They 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 certainly have um uh, a puncturing light here. It's pretty obvious, especially since they played two game one. Ooh, whisper. Ooh, that's kind of sweet. So I think I win here, right? Yeah. So I can whisper one of my two attackers to counter the the puncturing light. That's in incredibly sweet. Probably one of the sweetest thing I've done so far in this uh, set. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the that's the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> that's incredibly sweet. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> all right, all right. And they take six, and I drew my mountain, so it's going to be lethal. That was one of the m sweetest ending to a draft. I Yeah, that's that's definitely the best uh, final I, I got to play so far. That was incredible. All right, I hope you enjoyed it as much as... I'm <coughs> sorry, as much as I did. And uh, yeah, if you did, feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment. Uh, let me know if you appreciate that. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and see you guys for another draft.